Hi, beautiful. How are you? You look stunning. Thank you for being here. It's a gorgeous, wonderful day to be alive, to be in this body, to be living. Grateful for you to be living and watching me. We're gonna watch some people with very, very, very curly hair. Color it blonde. All sorts of shades of blonde. And um, they're gonna be using bleach to do it. You know, I don't know if you do this, but curly hair and bleach, they don't really mix. It's tough because curly hair is very dry naturally. When you put bleach on it, it becomes even more dry and things just go wrong and downhill very quickly. Things can start to break off and snap. So I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of that today. Really nervous for these girls who are about to bleach their hair themselves at home. Maybe some of them can create a masterpiece out of their hair and maybe we'll get some entertainment out of it. Let's watch these videos. First up, we have a video by Mora by Mita, and this is called I Bleached My Roots and My Hair Broke Off. Oh, no, 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 no. I am going to touch up my roots. My roots are out and about. This was about a month ago. Okay, so she is about to touch up her roots and she kind of jumps right into it, so that is where we're at. Now, this is when I had finished touching up my roots. Now I'm just waiting for my hair to process. Oh. Uh... Why is the hair up in buns like that? That is another no-no because what's gonna happen is that lightener is gonna get on the rest of your hair. It's going to lighten the pieces of hair that don't need to be lightened and you're going to get even more breakage that way. Next time, don't put your hair up when you're bleaching it. it this is not hair dye. This is lightener. Keep it out of the lightener while it's processing. They came out really yellow. I did not leave the bleaching alone because I figured their roots, I figured they would take really quick and I guess poor judgment. <sighs> It looked like my roots were lifted. Like if you can see here, it's like really blonde. I only left it in 20 minutes and the directions do say 30 to 45 minutes. Oh no, oh no. I would recommend 45 minutes, honestly, for a retouch like this. One thing about having yellow roots like this, it is so hard to make it go away after you do this. That is like all nearly orange. So it's gonna take another big round of bleaching and making sure she doesn't overlap on the really light parts in order to make that yellow come out of her hair. I have put the toner in. It's not too bad. It's turning blonde. That's good. We got rid of that yellow. That's what I was worried about, but it's not too bad. It's not what I wanted. Why are we toning your yellow hair? With a purple toner, like what you're just using, it is not going to cancel out orange and it's not going to cancel out deep yellow. It's just not going to work and we're about to see why. Okay guys, so I am back. So let me show you the roots are Still a little dark, but I mean, it's better than the black. This was the color I wanted all my hair to come out. So just a piece of advice, guys. If you do this, leave the bleach in longer. Oh no. Uh, This is what I look like. I bleached it. No, she's bleaching them again. I want to point out here though, her application around her hairline is flawless, impeccable, beautiful. Okay guys, so I am so happy as you can see. It took, it lightened this time. I left it in 45 minutes. My hair is just looking just falling out. Guys, this thing is not healthy. I don't recommend nobody do this. And she pushed it too far. Her hair is snapping off and I'm not surprised. Those roots are definitely the right color. Color, but it, she probably overlapped too much on the existing blonde and it's starting to snap the f off. I want it to be really ventilated. So I want you to see it's toning, turning like a purple. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. She's toning it again, and I, how much do you want to bet she's using T18 and like 30 volume, which is going to blast open that cuticle again and lift the hair even further and further damage her hair. Guys, I lost a lot of hair this time. Like, look at that. What the f is that? That's a lot of hair, sis. Oh my god. My hair fell out in chunks, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let me show you something. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. And it's still falling out. No, 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 no. Stop pulling on it. Stop pulling on it. I I have to cut my hair. I've never had my hair that short in my life. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna rock that short haircut. I know you can do it, girl. I know you can do it. We're doing a big chop. Falling out. It has to get cut. It is all coming out in that brush. Oh my God, she's really going for it. I wouldn't recommend cutting like that because then you're gonna end up with really short pieces here and really long pieces in the front, but oh well. That's not, oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm shook right now. Alright, this is really happening. It's just hair, baby. I know. Listen, she's a trooper. She's just going for it. And that's really satisfying seeing all that dead hair go. It looks like noodles. It looks like literal ramen noodles that have been overcooked. <laughs> She's just letting her husband do whatever the f he wants. Forget about being like a boy. We got to cut it so it looks even so you don't look crazy. 
You look like a maniac. Like, oh my god, look at this girl. She's nuts. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, outside of the room. Just... Baby, that was too short! No, it was. That was too short! He's just taking clumps out. He's like, boop, right there is good. Boop, right there, right there. If we can just style it, okay? I think we can pull it together. I think we can wrap it up and make it a little cuter. Hey guys. Ooh! See, she styled it up. This is my first attempt at finger waves, guys. So I did it to the back because I can't really see and I gotta get more acquainted with um how to do finger waves. But this is how it came out. It's a cute first attempt at finger waves. Not the most perfect, but we'll work on it, you know? It's cute, you know? I'm gagging a little. It's yeah, yeah, I'm gagging. In the future, I'd like to get this down more. Mm -hmm. On my face, just to get- Let's do that. I was gonna do like a bright color, but I'm like, girl, just cut your losses, Miss Thing, and just let your hair grow out. Dude, you just said that you should do a bright color. I completely agree with that. I think you should do your hair red or purple. If you use something like my color line, X Model Color, your hair will actually be healthier because of the bond builders that are included in it and all the other amazing ingredients like hyaluronic acid, oils, proteins, and there's nothing that's gonna lift your hair or damage it at all. It's like an intensely deep conditioning treatment with hair color. It's going to be very beneficial to your hair and make it look better and brighter and shinier. And also, I think you should just cut the little tail off of your haircut. It's almost getting a little like a mullet vibe, which if that's what you're going for, then go for it, girl. I support you. But get the haircut maybe if you can, like professionally, or just trim it up. Um, and then work on your finger wave skills, and I think it'll be perfect. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. You turned a bad thing into a decent thing, and I'm proud of you for that. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by the channel Kadiani, and this is called Bleaching My Natural Brown Hair Platinum Blonde and Damaging My Curls. I'm going to start off with L'Oreal's Technique High Performance Quick Blue, the extra strength. This is blue bleach. You use blue bleach basically to cancel out any orange, yellow tones, you know, get rid of all that brassiness kind of like in one shot. That is exactly true. Her hair is starting off with a little bit of blonde at the end, so I'm concerned that's going to break off. And then her hair is so dark at the top, so dark, and it's curly, so it's dry. So, you know, quick blue is definitely gonna do something. It's gonna definitely lighten your hair, but I worry about the damage it's about to induce. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And then I'm going to be using 30 volume developer. So I don't really follow instructions Great. or scoops of these because I have a lot of hair. Then I'm going to go in with the Claro Professionals Pure White Cream Developer. Okay, 30 volume, good choice. Into the blue bleach powder. You could also use 20 since your hair is very dry, but 30 volume could be fine. Make sure you have gloves because if not, the bleach is going to irritate your hand. We're not gonna section, are we? I just know we aren't. Start off in the back. So this is my hair currently right now. Okay, she has a lot of blonde on those ends. Dark here, this is all version here, the dark part. Okay. And then this is light brown hair. I'm going to grab a grant tail comb and I'm going to go at a diagonal. So I am going to bring the bleach a tad bit up to my root, but not all the way because I still want my roots to be dark. So we are kind of painting the hair with our hands and we're trying to avoid the roots, which I don't think is a good idea, but she said she'd change her mind. Good, I'm glad she did change her mind. At least the sections aren't gigantic. I guess that's all I can ask for. And at least she's going in there. She's going in there with a lot of lightener, which I love to see people use enough lightener. It's usually so dry. This is nice and moist. There's enough on there. And I'm actually glad she's avoiding her roots, but I wouldn't have put all the color on her ends first because her ends are the lightest. So we're trying to work from darkest to lightest when we apply the lightener, not the lightest to darkest. But at least her roots will probably not be like extremely white because she actually applied them after the ends, which is great. We're off to a great start. I don't know how it went wrong. So after I finished bleaching my roots, I did let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. In this clip, you can see that my hair is pretty light. I was kind of scared that my curls were gone, but at this point it was like, it is what it is, like I already did it. Okay, let me just say, it's actually looking good. She used plenty of lightener. It looks like it's fully saturated and she missed no spots, which is more than I could ever ask for, honestly. I'm curious, like how is this gonna go bad? I mean, I'm sure she just over-processed it because her ends were already light, but I don't know, it looks 
pretty good. Being that I knew it wasn't going to be as light as my roots were, I went in ahead and bleached it a second time and you can see it right here like my roots are really light and that is mainly because near your scalp that's where you produce heat which allows your hair to live faster if you previously colored your hair especially since my hair was brown you're going to have leftover red pigments in your hair the dye on her ends did not want to lift out at all which is unfortunate because it's going so well she did her roots last and it's still her roots picked up really fast she has that fine hair a lot of heat from her scalp and it just lifted really really fast honestly though it's not looking terrible so that's what that was and instead of waiting like a couple months to color my hair i went in and did a second process of bleach which is personally personally where i messed up so do not do that at all you guys her hair doesn't look too damaged i probably would have dried it to feel the texture of it i would have applied the lightener on dry hair this way when it's wet it's going to take longer you're diluting the lightener things are going to take a lot longer than they would have if your hair was dry so after my second process of bleaching i did let it sit for 10 minutes in my hair and this is the current condition of my hair but my hair did lighten up i was happy about okay disappointed about my hair's health because i know better you should probably use a bond building treatment next time while you lighten your hair that way you're putting some health back into it while you lighten it it would have really helped a lot maintain the health and the quality of your hair you're doing a really good job and if you use the right toner at this point you can really pull this together but as far as toning i did go in with the color charm by t14 okay that's the pale ash blonde and okay. used a 20 volume developer the color tango brand so what i do is split my hair into four sections and then i always color the perimeter of that section first and then i go in between the sections color the root and then i spread the color throughout the rest with this toning process you should start on the most yellow parts of your hair first that way it gets the most toning benefits and the most amount of time with the toner on that part of the hair and then move on to the lighter more white parts all right y'all so oh my god this is what my hair looks like. Um, definitely something I have to get used to. The only downside with this is I'm gonna really have to do like treatments back to back. I have some critiques, but this doesn't look bad. Some of these hairs, they're not curly. Like how my roots are curly. Should have never like double processed like the mid shaft to the ends. But I really do love the color if my hair like if it wasn't like damaged like how it is and the curls were like poppington i probably would have probably would love it some more like i said definitely a color i have to get used to here's the thing i think you did a great job like for what it is you did a great job the only thing i'm kind of want to critique is i don't love the tone of it like i wish it was more yellowy i feel like it would just make you look a lot brighter and healthier if you had a more warm tone of blonde rather than a really ashy like almost green yellow i don't know it's like like green and gray in there that i'm seeing like blue greens grays i wish you were more on the yellower side of platinum blonde like a like a cream color that would just look so good on you your hair quality doesn't look terrible you know just put some moisturizing curl products in there and i think it'll look amazing and you look really pretty with blonde hair um it's a big change and you did it pretty well so I'm proud of you. Great job. Those were definitely some interesting results. Um, not the greatest, not the worst, but it was definitely scary watching these people bleach their curly hair and I felt so bad for their curls. A lot of damage going on, a lot of scariness and they pulled off something and we'll leave it at that. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else if you aren't already here on my social media handles all around me. Make sure you click the subscribe button right down below if you are not subscribed already. Also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. This is my number right here. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. And yes, I really do see some of your messages. You can text me right now and I'll be texting some of you guys right back. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to check out my hair care line and my color line, you can do so now at xmondohair.com. You can also check out our Instagrams for inspiration at xmondohair and xmondocolor. Go for it. If you guys would like to live your extra life with me and shop my merch, you can do so. It is so freaking cute. You can shop it at xmondohair.com or with the link below. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Drew and this 
and it says, I've recently cut my hair the shortest it's ever been due to too much bleaching. Ooh, we saw that today. Um, my hair has been about every color in the rainbow and I decided to go back to the same permanent auburn while I let it heal. But I've been feeling pretty bland and I'm still not sure how to style such short hair. Any color style tips and suggestions, things. The auburn is definitely pretty. I think it looks really great on you, but if you're looking to do a change, um, I don't know. I feel like I would love to see your hair pink. Like pink and shorter, like really short and really edgy. I want you to style it with like a pomade. My BDSM slick and defined bomb will be amazing for your hair to give it that PC texture and rehydrate it. Um, it's also really good for damaged hair because it has so many oils in it and it's not gonna dry your hair out at all. So try that, go pink. I mean, unless you don't wanna damage your hair, but I think you should go at least go shorter, a little more edgy and stick up your hair with some BDSM balm and it'll look so fierce. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.